We can now go across to correspondent David Smith standing by in Washington. David, good morning to you. The United States acting fast to denounce these annexations, which it says is fraudulent. Yes, that's right. Just in the last uh, hour, uh, that new round of sanctions uh, announced, um, really trying to hit hard uh, Russia's uh, defense and uh, technology sectors, um, sanctions on um, 14 international companies that uh, help the uh, Russian military supply chain, uh, sanctions on uh, nearly 300 members of the Russian parliament, uh, on the central bank governor, various other officials uh, and their families, uh, really trying to send a strong message in condemnation of this uh, annexation. Uh, we've also had a, a statement from the White House uh, from uh, Joe Biden saying uh, Russia is violating uh, international law, uh, trampling on the United Nations Charter, and showing its contempt for peaceful nations uh, everywhere. And that sentiment echoed as well by uh, Secretary of State uh, Antony Blinken and uh, various leading uh, members of Congress. Uh, really, America is still putting up a a united front uh, against this, describing these as, uh, as sham referendums, uh, uh, vowing that uh, the US will certainly not recognize uh, these territories as uh, Russian. And uh, interestingly, this week, we also saw both a, a Democrat and a Republican coming together in the Senate uh, to put forward uh, legislation that would take even tougher action against any international companies uh, that uh, support uh, this, uh, this Russian claim, uh, calling for the sanctions on those. Um, so uh, the US is uh, still adamant that uh, Vladimir Putin must not be allowed to gain from this uh, claim. Uh, and David, uh, when Putin spoke earlier, he seemed to suggest that the West was behind the sabotage uh, of the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines uh, damage, uh, which was done earlier this week. And the UN Security Council is due to discuss the issue. Yes, um, that, uh, that claim, of course, uh, by Vladimir Putin has been described as uh, preposterous by American officials. Um, but it's, uh, it's gained a little bit of traction in right-wing media, in particular uh, Tucker Carlson, a primetime host on Fox News, has uh, not for the first time been echoing uh, the Kremlin on this, uh, pushing a conspiracy theory, suggesting that uh, perhaps the Biden administration is responsible and asking, well, you know, why would Vladimir Putin do this to his own pipeline. Um, that's been a hit in Russia and been picked up on state television there. They, they love the idea of a leading American commentator making this claim. Uh, worth underlining, of course, there is no uh, evidence uh, for it. Um, Joe Biden himself has been a little reluctant to, to weigh in on who's responsible um, for this disruption to the pipelines. Uh, but uh, Senator Chris Coons, a Democrat um, who's close to Biden, uh, just said last night um, he thinks it, it's likely to be uh, Russia responsible. Um, and basically the White House is saying uh, it's up to the European partners to investigate further. The Europeans uh, too have not said who they believe is responsible for this sabotage. David, thank you very much for that, David Smith, reporting there from Washington.